Hi, I'm Andrew, and welcome to the Neon Knitter. So, this video is going to be the Fall Fiber Fair 2024 in Hopkins, Minnesota. So, I went there today, and um, it's always the first Saturday in November. The gymnasium at the Eisenhower Community Center in Hopkins, Minnesota. Um... And, yeah, there's always some pretty nice stuff. So, I didn't buy a whole lot just because I am currently unemployed, but um, I should hopefully have a job before um, Shop Hop and Shepherd's Harvest. So, um, so, yeah, I only... Purchased two skeins of yarn while I was there, and I will show you them after I show you the tour of the event. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, so I will pop the tour on the screen now, and then I will come back and share with you what I have purchased.
Okay, so here's what I purchased. <coughs> First, I was walking around, and both of these games I kept going back to. But um, this was the first one I purchased. I really was drawn to this. And this is a hand-spun skein. And both these skeins, I have no idea what I'm going to make yet. I just know that I'm going to put them in swatters. So this will probably be a swatter yoke of some sort. Um, but this is from Brioche and Brews. Um, sorry for the rustling. I'm going to pull their business card out of my bag. Um, Brioche and Brews. Never heard of them before. But they had some really pretty stuff. Her name is Megan. And, yeah, so, I thought that was really pretty. Orangey, purpley, reds, blues. I don't know. Um, I think it's mostly like reds and blues and purples, but I'm not quite sure. Um, I don't know if I've ever mentioned it on this channel before, but I am partially colorblind. And it's red-green colorblindness, which means blues and purples are hard to tell apart sometimes. Not always. So, like, I know that there's purple on my sweater. And that that's burgundy. And that's orange. And the, this is yellow, but um, it's hard for me to tell if this is blue or purple in the skein of yarn. It is showing up a lot brighter on camera than it is in person. So, yeah. This color is called Mixed Berries. There's 194 yards. It's an Aran weight. It says Aran slash bulky, but I asked her which one she thought it was more close to, and she said Aran. So... Um, Duply Gradient, uh, Mixed Wool and Silk, 2.5 ounces, so that is that, it'll be a nice sweater yoke at some point. But I still have to find a pattern and other yarn to go with it. Then I purchased this. Now this is from Saga Hill Designs. And this is one of her hand spun skeins. It is... 100% commercially dyed merino wool, and it is a heavy worsted or a bulky five weight, I would say. Bulky number five weight. It's 34 yards, and it was a one of a kind. She made this skein a couple of years ago, and it just hasn't been selling. And um, every year I've been to that fiber fair, I have looked at this exact skein. My first year there was the first year she had it, but then last year I looked at it, and this year I looked at it again, so I'm like, well, what the heck, let's get it. It'll probably end up being some sleeve cuffs on a sweater. I really wish there was enough to do the neck ribbing and the waist ribbing as well, but there is not, so I'm going to do sweater sleeve cuffs, and uh, yeah. Again, don't know what pattern yet or what else I'm pairing with it. I just know that this is a very fun little skein of yarn. Nice little souvenir. So these are my purchases. And uh, yeah, so two different projects. They're not going in the same one, obviously. But yeah, I thought that was really pretty. So, And that's Saga Hill Designs, where that this one is from. So yeah. Thought that was very nice, and yeah, so anyways, 
I'm Andrew. Thank you for checking in here at the Neon Knitter, and I will see you in my next video.